Hi, um, today I'm going to show you how to make a pinch pot out of clay. Um, so if you have access to summer school, hopefully one of your teachers will let you have a little play around. Um, so basically all you need is just a lump of clay, it doesn't need to be too large. And what you're going to do, you're going to take a section and you're going to squidge it with your hands and you're basically going to turn it into a ball. Okay, so you can see there's lots of these lines. So just, just use your fingers just to manipulate the clay. Okay, I'm not being too precious with what I'm doing here. It doesn't need to be a perfect circle. So that, that will do. Okay, then what the next step, what you'll do, is you're going to use your thumbs and you're almost going to create a heart shape with your fingers, okay, your fingers and your thumbs. And you're basically, you're going to push your thumbs down into the middle of the ball that you've just made, like this, and then you're going to twist the clay in your hands and keep twisting, okay? So, you get a hole like this, okay? I've got quite long nails, so, but you, basically you're twisting, and as you're twisting, you're pinching. You're using your fingers here, your finger and your thumb, and you're pinching, you're pinching around the edge, and you're turning, okay? When you feel that you've, you've got it big enough, what you can then do is you can then put your pinch pot in the palm of your hand and continue to twist and pinch and manipulate the clay, okay? Remember to go down into the bottom as well, but try not to put your fingers or your thumb through the bottom. And you're gonna keep twisting and pinching, okay? And keep doing that, right? So, that looks quite good, right? So, that's the first part of what we're doing. So what you need to do, you need to actually make two of these, okay? So here's the first one, and here, Blue Peter style, is one I prepared earlier, okay? So you're going to take your two halves, like this, and then you're going to cup them together, okay? You don't need any water, just need your two bits of clay and your fingers, okay? And then, Again, placing that in your hand, you're going to use your fingers and you're basically going to decrease the line that you can see that goes all the way around. You're basically just going to use your fingers or your thumb to just pull that extra clay over. You might find this a bit tricky, but as you, as you start to kind of go all the way around, you'll notice that actually it, be, it becomes quite solid. The reason that is, is because inside there's lots of trapped air and what the trapped air inside does, it helps keep the form. Okay, now I'm doing this very quickly. Um, you, you know, obviously you would take your time and make it a lot neater, but this is just a short video to kind of show you. How to do it so there we go there's my there's my ball that I've made now there are various things that you can do with this you can if you have you know ceramic tools if you even a pencil um, you know any kind of um, oh god anything at home that you might have you can push into the clay and you can create texture and stuff like that but what I'm going to do I'm going to make a pot so I'm going to use my finger it's gonna make a hole in here, okay, in the top. Now, part of the reason why I need to, you need to make a hole into your work is because if you were uh, lucky enough in your school to have a kiln, if you left that as a, a solid object with all that trapped air inside, it would go into the kiln and it would explode. And you could destroy your, well, you will destroy your work and potentially other people's. So, there we go, so that's my pinch pot. And with my excess clay that I have, I'm just going to roll out some little sausages, some little coils with my fingers. Okay, very gently. And then what I'm going to do on the bottom of my pot, like this, 
Okay, I'm just going to make a little ring around. Okay, so this is going to be like a little foot ring for my little pot that I'm making. So again, you can see, I'm, again, I'm just doing this very quickly. Yours would be much neater. There we go, so that's the base. And then with the extra bit that I've got, I'm just going to make a little lip around the top of my pinch pot, like this, okay? And again, just gonna use my fingers and my thumb To work the clay around. Okay, and I might actually just give it a bit more height and just make another little coil 